What's up everybody, today we are going to talk about input output feedback linearization through some small toy problem example here. This is the dynamical system and we are required to find a control law such that the closed loop system is asymptotically stable. And in the input output feedback linearization scheme, what we do is basically we will find a per so far this is a regularization problem and we will find a y. We will find a signal or virtual output signal it can be of course one of the states or like some it can be linear combination of it right and some function of it okay so and then the state dimension is three and we differentiate it okay and we differentiate it three times okay First of all, we will find we we want to find a y, okay, and we don't know what it is. Let's say it this way, and then we need to differentiate it once and twice and till we have some input term appears, okay, and this is a in a way, CISO nonlinear problem. And since the dimension of it of the system is three, we want to find a y such that such that mm, when we take the first derivative, there is no u, okay, and when we take the second derivative, there is no u, but when we take the third derivative. There, there is u signal input signal okay and this is the basically how this i guess process basically defines how we like to go about choosing y virtual output signal and okay since there is some type of structure in the system we can see input in a way is been passing through like integrators and th three times right one two three in a way right so and at the end of the third integrator we can see the output of it being x1 so the reason suggests that it would be a reason it would be you know smart thing to pick x1 as a virtual output signal okay so and let's try it okay there is nothing wrong with trying that and i will also show some multiple symbolic operations it will that would you know facilitate your overall design procedure and even though this is a simple system and you can see there are a lot of like algebraic manipulations that you need to you know deal with and multiple symbolic toolbox or any other symbolic toolbox you know i i guess software can help you f f find you know construct the control signals okay and here let's say x1 is our virtual auto signal and re requirement is this you need to take one two and three times and in the first and second times when you take the derivative time derivative and you don't see any control input signal appearing at the left hand side sorry right hand side and but at the third time you will see you will see the u input signal so if you look at the you know okay let's take the derivative and if we for the first time derivative we can see here this is x1 dot okay and we can see there is no control input u being appearing okay which is fine and let's look at the second derivative here this is y dot and this is y dot being differentiated okay and the long expression if we expand that we get this okay can you see u no u is not being appearing so this is again a nice you know thing so let's differentiate it one more time 
and of course after doing after dealing with all kinds of manipulations algebraic manipulations we can see the over expression is being that and we can see input signal appearing which is what we expected and what we wanted and so this is the term yeah, these are same and i just copied that this is the term and that we need to look at right now so we can kind of express it in this way here we can see the expression you know like highlighted and first of all basically we can get rid of this term okay all right so we can just get rid of this and question is okay let's get rid of that but after that what kind of u signal that we want to construct as a function of y so the y dynamics being stable and if you look at that and and you can see you can see why that is the case by typing roots h one two two one and which means by the way this one times this one that's okay plus two y double dot plus two y dot plus y okay and this system and of course zero but we need to have an input right and this can be considered as w some type of disturbance term okay this is stable right this dynamics one two two one okay and when i mean one two two one i mean this dynamics okay this is w and this is the dynamics and this is y signal if you simulate it you can see that this is stable and also by of course looking at the rules of the this characteristic equations right and you see that it is stable all of them or the real part of the eigenvalues or the rules are being negative definite which is fine and so when we isolate y triple dot we have this expression so first the strategy is this first let's get rid of this expression it's doing nothing but confusing us right and and then construct y such that the overall dynamics looks like that okay that's not our thing to do right let's call it e this confusing expression let's call it that and we add minus t to get rid of that and we basically typed or copied this term so our control law is this okay of course again t is something that is depending on our state variables and also y y dot and also y double dot they are here we can see right y is x1 and y dot is where is it yeah y dot is this and y double dot is here this expression so the right hand side of the control law should be depending on the state variables and okay that is the case in this problem so everything is in order so let's continue of course to deal with those like taking the time derivative and like expanding type of algebraic manipulations we can use multiple similar toolbox and here we can first define that and also we can define the dynamics and we state x1 as our virtual output and also we can take the time derivative of y and since y will be a function of in this case y is only a function of x1 but it can we could also simply choose y such, such that it is i guess a function of all of the state variables right okay so by using the jacobian like function maybe i should make it bigger okay better that way okay and 
basically take this is that and also this is this okay and by expanding that so we don't have any factorized expressions okay to simplify the algebraic manipulations to come okay and and then you look at what y dot is okay and at that point if y dot doesn't have any u at the right hand side then you can simply move on okay that's a good thing and and then you look at the time derivative of y dot expression okay again the same like if you look at the like this line and this line they, they are very equivalent okay and they are basically doing the same thing iteratively and we need to take the time derivative of y dot to construct y double dot right and here at this small point you need to look at the y double dot expression and you shouldn't see any right u at the right hand side and okay and we check that there, there is none right and then the finally y triple dot again by using the same type of procedure you construct y triple dot and again expand it and you need to see u term at this moment and y double dot here sorry y triple dot is t i call it t this term this term plus u okay so I look at this expression and then I like copy it and paste it and define the t expression and here we can construct control u control input in this manner okay so this is what we done but we are look only looking at the multi symbol the toolbox way of like easing our manipulations okay so let's look at the like all the 45 simulations okay here these are figure related terms okay and i want to simulate the yes dynamics like 10 times like many times okay so first i create random initial points and this is disturbance term you can ignore this and this line okay and also this line so this is how we use od45 and after that we like recover x1 x2 and x3 like time signals and we can plot them and also for visualization purposes we can also define y minus and y1 lines okay and here we define the dynamics here we could here just ignore this line okay and this is we are doing some type of memory allocation and since x is like the three dimensional we are allocating memory for that and here we are defining x1 x2 and x3 and this is basically the control law okay we like constructed and these are the dynamics okay so let's simulate the close up dynamics and we are basically doing that and here we can see rgb as being x1 x2 and x3 like respectively and we can see like we are starting from many locations and all of the states converge to zero so this is basically signifies the stability of the close loop and this is how you I guess construct feedback input output feedback linearization control scheme for regulation purposes and don't forget to check the github page for the source code and also the yes this quote unquote lecture note that you see on the screen okay and thanks for today thanks for watching and that's it for today